All right, how you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And I'll make a quick little video about something I came across here that I found mighty interesting. It says, stunning, although not really. All major Western media outlets take private dinners, sponsored trips from Chinese communist propaganda front. Like I say... Interesting that they discovered this, but not really stunning. A host of corporate media outlets, including CNN, New York Times, Washington Post, and MSNBC, have participated in private dinners and sponsored trips with the China-United States Exchange Foundation, a Chinese Communist Party-funded group seeking to garner favorable coverage and disseminate positive messages regarding China, the National Pulse can reveal. Other outlets involved in the propaganda operation include Forbes, the Financial Times, Newsweek, Bloomberg, Reuters, ABC News, The Economist, Wall Street Journal, AFP, Time Magazine, <coughs> excuse me, LA Times, The Hill, BBC, and The Atlantic. Are we noticing a pattern here? All left-wing rags. The relationship is revealed in the Department of Justice Foreign Agent Registration Act filings, which reveal relationships spanning over a decade between establishment media outlets and the China-United States Exchange Foundation. The idea is to neutralize opposition. Yeah. China's Communist Party-funded initiative founded by Tung Chi Hua, the group also targets American universities. What a shocker. With offers to fund policy research, high-level dialogues, and exchange programs. The effort, according to the U.S. government report, aims to co-opt and neutralize sources of potential opposition to the policies and authority of its ruling Chinese Communist Party. I think all this is going to take a nosedive on January 6th when Trump lays a Moab on all these people. This strategy appears to have been deployed in conjunction with outlets such as CNN, New York Times, and the Washington Post. Of course, it's all left-wing propaganda. All right, it just keeps repeating itself, but I'll put the link in the description. You can check this out. But, I mean, you know, look at, the peop look at these attendees. New York Times, Associated Press, Time Magazine, Quartz, CBS News, Bloomberg, Forbes, Atlantic. I mean, on and on and on, all left-wing nonsense. Like I say, I think this is all going to come to a close when President Trump, who I believe will be President Trump again for the next four years, is about to drop a bomb on everybody on January 6th. Can't wait.